Hi everybody, I'm Susie Dingle and I have a book to show you. One of the things I love to do in the winter time is just kind of bone up on some of my knowledge of plants or insects or just gardening in general. Weather, that's another one I've got a good book on that I'm going to get to eventually because there's a lot I don't know and I love learning. Now, this book on bugs, I've had my eye on it for a very, very long time. It's called Good Bugs for Your Garden by Allison, Allison Mia Starcher. Hope I said that right. Now, I picked it up at uh, a, book, a half price books kind of place for $3. So it really is uh, no reason not to get a book like this if you have three dollars to spend. One of the reasons and probably the primary reason why I love this book is because it's readable. There are so many subjects that I would love to know more about something but it's just uh, painfully hard to read like uh, boring dry text even though there might just be some pictures or photographs or something like that. It's just the way it's presented isn't as fun to read as this book is fun to read. Let me show you. I'll give you an idea here of what it's like. The illustrations are beautiful. She's the artist and she also wrote it and all of the printing is done by hand. It, it looks to me like it's done by hand, like she drew it on there. And she's created little areas where you can easily read a small amount and it makes it almost like an exploration or a journey the way she's put this together just visually and the colors are very soothing and lovely nature colors. She's also done something that I just find fantastic and very useful. She gives the actual size of the insect on each page. I really love this. She also includes the types of plants that that insect uh, would help and what they're attracted to because insects need what basically any other organism needs and it needs food and water and uh, shelter, that sort of thing. Anyway, this book is beautifully done. Some of it is in regular typeface, but most of it is in her handwriting, which I think imparts a lot of um, personality and heart, makes it much easier for me to read it. I also really appreciate illustrations because as good as photographs are, I find that illustrations and line drawings give a sort of detail that you, a photograph just can't impart. There are 36 beneficial insects covered in this book, which means that I could learn three a month and over the course of a year, I would be up to speed on those, uh, those insects. And I feel pretty good about that. I can, I can bite that off and uh, learn something new. The thing to remember about getting older books, this was done and uh, printed in 1995, is if there's any information in here that would be outdated, probably not a lot because the insects themselves would, would change that quickly, but maybe if there is some environmental or ecological change or um, if they're more endangered or not like for instance with bees honeybees that might have changed so you do have to watch for that with some of the older books however most everything in here I'm looking at is still applicable one of the things I really like about learning about beneficial insects is it gives me the confidence to not have to kill a bug 
if it's a good bug because I, I don't like doing that first off and secondly I just don't like having that knee-jerk reaction because I don't know is it or isn't it so with this book I've learned that I've, I have a lot more confidence now, I hope if you find this book and get it that you enjoy it as much as I have until next time keep dreaming and reading in the garden Oh my gosh, she puts in the cutest little things here. All right, on this page is a lady on a bench and a little kitty, kitty on the bench. How cute is that?